Hello, welcome to the video. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a audio visualizer to your OBS Studio stream. If you're a Streamlabs user, you probably clicked on this by accident, but I'm going to do a separate version of this for Streamlabs OBS. When I've done that, I will link it in the description below. So there's a good chance when you watch this, that will be linked in the description below. This is the first video in a three part series that I'm going to do about audio visualizers. The first one, this video here, it's going to be how you can simply add and configure an audio visualizer to show the waves and the waveform, the cool effects of the audio on your stream. The second video will be how you can beautify that and make it look like awesome on your stream by adding masks and gradients and colors and things like that and shading. The third video that I'll do will be to how to add the artwork and the name of the artist if you're using Spotify. I think it works to like iTunes as well, but I will link all three videos in the link in the description below, which is the Streamlabs video, the beautiful video and the adding the album artwork. Audio visualizers are pretty awesome. They just look awesome on your stream. They make a big difference to like the aesthetics of your stream. They're a little bit more interactive. I find they work really well for like intermission type screens and also like a be right back or a starting soon type of screen as well. Obviously you can use the audio visualizers how you see fit, but my personal preference is to use it in that way. If you find this video useful, I definitely appreciate a like on the video because that helps me. Uh, and also if you can just comment and let me know if it went well for you if you found it useful and all that kind of stuff any problems you had it's really useful to know it helps other users to see what issues they may have had when they added this but i'll try and cover those issues within the video of course also you're more than welcome to check out my twitch stream at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana let's get into this Okay, so this first video is how to add the audio visualizer. We're going to go into Spectralizer on the OBS project page, searching for this particular plugin. The current version is 1.3.4. I'm sure the version will have changed by the time you watch this. It's a pretty stable product. They've been going for a long time. It looks like this version is actually October 2019. I will link both the project page for this plugin and also the code here as well on GitHub. I'll also link below an instruction video on how you can install plugins because I don't want to cover installing plugins in this video. Once you've installed Spectralizer, that gives you access to a new source within OBS Studio. So you can click the plus button here and add Spectralizer. We can give it a name. This is where we'll configure that Spectralizer. So here in this video, we're going to go through all the detail of this so that you can do like the foundations of the audio visualizer. And the next videos will be about how you can then make them look beautiful. And then the third video, adding the artwork and of course the titles and stuff like that. But all we've got here for now is like a sort of standard background. Maybe this is like an intermission type background or in this case, looking for game capture. So it's already registered the source in the top left and we can do the resizing bit later. So now we're going to put some music on for this next section so you can actually see this in action. You can first of all choose the mode, which is bars, circular bars, or a wire. And just to show what that looks like, we can choose an audio source. So I'm gonna choose the desktop audio, which will capture any audio that's coming through into my headset. But you may have like separate lines for different audio. You just need to select the line where you want the audio to come from, i.e. the music audio. I'm assuming you want this as music. But you could even select it as the, the microphone in case you wanted an audio visualizer for your microphone. So, and just to illustrate, this is what the bars look like. This is what the wires look like. And the circular bars come out from a circle, which you can adjust. So I'm going to select the desktop audio here. Straight away, we can see it's cutting out my audio, but it's brought in the music audio and it's completely ignoring my microphone. But just bear in mind here, if you're playing a game and you've got your music coming through the same audio source, i.e., for example, your desktop audio, it will pick up the game elements on the audio visualizer. So if you are using this on like a live screen scene, it will capture both. So I'd recommend trying to split out the audio for those two things. For example, if you have a mixer and you're able to do that. Kind of vibing out to this music. So the filters just defines like the sort of the shape of the audio visualizer, whether it's more like elongated like big waves or whether it's like little spiky bits. You've got the monster cat filter and the SGS filter. Don't ask me what they mean because I'm not an audio nerd. I can't answer your question. All I know is one looks good. The other one looks different. Okay. So there's the monster one. It's, as you can see, it's kind of like, they're almost like connected. The bars are like connected together. Whereas on the SGS filter, it's a lot flatter. So the bars are even more connected to each other and there's less protruding bars. If you put none on, this goes really almost like, not random, but like the bars are not particularly connected to each other. So I'm gonna go with the monster cap 
filter because I think that's quite cool. It's like a good middle ground between the two. But you may you may prefer this smoother filter one like this. Now we're just going to go into some of the settings for this. And by the way, each of these filters has different settings. As you can see here, the settings pop out. Let's go on the monster cap. So let's first have a look at the strength of the filter. Turning this right down does something a little bit like that. So if you wanted like a flat waveform or like a boombox type of audio visualizer, then that would work really, really well. Or maybe if you wanted something somewhere between the two. But I don't. I actually want some... I want this to go across my whole screen. So I want there to be quite a lot of different waveforms throughout the audio visualizer. I'm going to try 130, but again, we can tweak and change this. And again, a lot of this is personal preference. We can now just choose like a basic color here if we want. So... From the audio spectralizer app, you can choose a basic color, but the second video will go into a lot more detail about how you can make more and make it really stand out and pop. So let's just select a color. So that's a little bit different. Now we can select the bar width. So let's try smaller bar width and also the bar height. We might want to make it higher. Let's make it, let's say, 120. So that's added a further height and thinned out the bars, which I think looks kind of cool. But again, you may decide, you know what, I actually want the height to be a lot lower and go with 50. And maybe like you want little chubby bars, like little fat chubby bars like that. It's up to you. It's like magic. You can just do what you want. The reason why I want the bars to be quite high like this is when you get like the basses and the uh, the snare drums, you'll see that spike of audio visual. And it looks pretty cool. Now we can choose the bar spacing. So this is pretty cool because we've defined further down here how many bars we want. There's 32 bins. So there's 32 bins. They call them bins like audio nerd technical speak it's called a bin but i'm calling them bars because they are actually bars let's say you want the spacing to be something like 10 you'll see that spaces them out quite a lot that gives you a lot of flexibility here to do something completely different and we can see what it looks like as a preview here again we can resize this i actually don't want to have much of a spacing so i'm going to keep it like this now i want a little bit more than that so i'm going to go with three I'm fairly happy with how that looks for the time being. Now we're talking about automatic scaling. So automatic scaling, if you click automatic scaling, it'll then basically scale the high points of the song and the low points of the song, and it'll put the bars sort of somewhere in the middle. But you can sort of hard code settings to do like certain heights and, and, and depths. The danger with that is if you change the volume of your music or if you play really different styles of music on your stream certain settings may not catch the high volumes or the low and you get stuff like this happening where in this example where it's quite a high beat to high tempo the bars are always high rather than always low so i'm going to actually just leave that on automatic scaling because the plugin here does a pretty good job of understanding the music and then scaling that properly we can now choose to go stereo which will add uh, top and bottom to it so it's almost like a line through it so if you wanted an effect where it's a single audio visualizer like that you can do that it looks pretty cool you can also choose to have a logarithmic scale as well and all logarithmic does is like it goes exponential sounds so exponential sounds if a sound increases by double the size of the bar won't be double it'll be exponentially higher than that so that's why you're seeing here in the example the bars in certain audio frequencies are much higher than the ones in different frequencies so we can even change the frequency scale uh, to change the Hertz level where it scales. <coughs> I'm just going to turn logarithmic off. I don't actually like that effect. I don't really like the effect. But you may. So that's the beauty of this. It's all in the eye of the beer holder. The gravity level gives like hyper pills to your audio visualizer. Ima imagine if... Imagine if you tried to dance with double gravity. You'd be like bobbing up and down a lot more. Or if you were trying to dance in space, it'd probably look a little bit more like... Like that. A little bit more like... Soft. But that's what the gravity is. Uh, I don't know what the default was here. And now we just need to define how many bins we want. Now I'm going to have this... I think I think what I'm going to do is add this on a north-south, top to bottom. So I'm going to have maybe like 120 pins here. Because and, and, I'm going to be stretching this out quite far. So I'm going to click OK on that. We now have a basic audio visualizer for our stream okay i can now right click on this and transform it for instance by rotating it 90 degrees clockwise for instance transforming it and putting it on the left of my screen or something like that so there it is i've been able to add a simple audio visualizer to my stream it's in tune with the audio settings that i've chosen in this case the music 
It's been quite highly customized to what I want that to look like, including the waveforms, the frequencies, the gravity. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have found this useful. If you have, check out the second one in the series below where we make this look really awesome on your stream. Remember, this isn't about just adding it to your stream. It's about people coming to your stream, seeing it and thinking, wow, this is awesome. This guy knows what he's doing. And even though we know you don't have a clue what you're doing. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.